Hi folks, I'm back in my garage workshop and Happy New Year, welcome to 2020. I took about a week off from the videos after the Bonanza just to kind of relax and reset. So now I'm going to ease back into the videos with a short one today. This is the Menards O-Gage backlit billboard with 26 decals and we're going to check it out today on Eric's Trains. So this is an O-Gage version of a billboard like you see all the time, but before we take it out of the packaging, let's check out some of these labels to see what's going on. So first of all, it lights up, and because of that, it requires a 4.5 volt power source, and they do list the model numbers of these separately sold power supplies that you can buy on the Menards website. Those power supplies look sort of like this. I've shown you this in other videos. I'm not gonna talk too much about it today. But I will say that you do not have to buy their power supply. You can use any 4.5 volt DC power supply, but they do sell them on the Menards website just to make life easier. Now, in case you're wondering why Menards never packs a power supply with their buildings and other accessories, I can think of a few reasons right off the bat. Number one, it would make the item more expensive from the get-go. Number two, if you buy four, five, or six accessories, all of a sudden, you've got six wall warts, and that'll be a challenge when it comes time to finding somewhere to plug them in. And then finally, none of that is necessary at all because if you buy the 5 amp power supply and you buy the plug and play accessory kit, you can power multiple accessories from this one single power supply. So the 5 amp power supply is about $18 or so if I recall. The accessory kit is about $8. And what that does is it allows you to branch off of this main cord and power multiple accessories. So for under $30, you can get one of these and the accessory kit and power four, five, six accessories. And so in the end, it's win-win for everybody because the items from Menards end up being cheaper and you also save money by only having to buy a few power supplies when needed. And also you don't end up with a massive collection of these wall warts after getting several accessories. Anyway, down here we've got a preview of the 26 interchangeable decals that you can put up on the billboard. So we've got stuff like M&Ms and Amtrak and Maytag and others. Now I've said before that Menards typically likes to include a figurine of Jack the German Shepherd on most of their structures and accessories. However, it would be a bit weird to have a figurine of a dog on the billboard. but. One of the signs included is for J. Shepherd & Sons Dog Food Company. And if you recall, a while back I reviewed the Menards J. Shepherd & Sons Dog Food Factory. The J in J. Shepherd stands for Jack the German Shepherd. And so even though a figurine of Jack isn't on this accessory, this is kind of his stand-in. Finally, we've got this sign that says, leave large, thin base on, or remove if desired, and fasten to layout by placing screws through these holes. Now, some of you guys probably already know what this is about, but if you don't, this is really cool and very clever, and we'll come back to it in just a minute. So let's go ahead and open this thing up, and fortunately, I don't think I'm gonna need a knife for this unboxing. There's the billboard, and then here are all the billboard decals. So I'm looking at these signs, and they're very well done. However, I do have one concern, and that is that these are stickers. So you actually peel off the back and stick it to either side of the billboard. And I'm not sure, but that could be both good and bad. On the one hand, it could be good because if it's a backlit billboard and you've got lights behind the signs, with a sticker, you're gonna get a good amount of light coming through the sign and giving you nice illumination. On the other hand, because they're stickers, I'm not sure how reusable they will be. It may just be a one and done thing, which is not the ideal situation, but it is what it is. So let's check out some of these signs. We got the M&M's, we got the Maytag Repairman. Ha! <laughs> that's awesome. 
Your wife is hot. Time to get your AC fixed. I love it. Totally politically incorrect. Love it. Beef jerky. Oh, there's Amtrak. Australian Gold. Menards. Menards Garden Center. Budweiser. Red Owl. That's a grocery store. Gator Creek. Concrete. There's Jay Shepard and Sons. Enchanted Forest. A Christmas tradition at Menards. Vetter Sash and Door Company. Cotton Picking Lint Filter. Let's Paint. This is nice. Space available for rent. Got the Sherwin Williams Mustang Sally's Auto Restoration. More Menards. Piggly Wiggly. Another M&M's. Menards. Got a beer. A brewing company. Menards. And then County Sweets. So the signs are very nice, but once we get this thing working, we'll see how that sticker thing plays out. So let's take a look at the billboard itself. So the base is metal. That's good. It's got a nice weight. Then we've got this sort of sub base that's sort of a masonite material. There's the power port. And oh yeah, we've got a second power port on the underside. I love that about Menards accessories. They always have one on the side for tabletop layouts and then one on the bottom if you want to run the wires up from underneath like on my layout. Then we've got the pole and the ladder. We got two crew figures, that's nice. And we've got see-through walkways up on top, very nice. One thing I think is cool is that it says Menards on the underside of the billboard on both sides. And the reason I think that's cool is because if you ever go down the highway and look at billboards, the company that owns the billboard or manages them almost always has their company logo underneath the billboard right there. So I think it's pretty cool that Menards use that as an opportunity to put their logo there. So looks like this peels off. So let's go ahead and do that. Got a little left over there, so let's see if I can get that off. There we go. And it looks like it's clear plastic. And there's one on the other side as well. All right. Now the plastic is not crystal clear there's a little bit of you know sticker residue and stuff on there and if I wanted I could work to get that off but it's probably not going to matter because there's going to be a sign on top of it anyway and you can see they've got LEDs in between those glass or plastic panels and they're on the top the bottom and the sides so you've got LEDs on all sides that's pretty cool so the way this works is that you peel the back off of one of these signs and stick it on there. So let's choose a sign. And for this review, I'm going to choose something that I don't mind taking off and losing later on. Because as I said, these may just be one and done because they're stickers. So we'll try one of these Menards stickers like that. And We'll see just how easy or difficult this process is. All right. This might be easier if I set it down on the table. Absolutely perfect but that'll do and we'll put one on the other side as well and for the second sticker I'll just use another Menards sticker okay I'm gonna 
try it a different way this time. I'm going to put it on from the top down. Maybe that'll be easier. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Don't go from side to side, go from the top down. Okay. All right. So we've got our stickers on the billboard. So now let's power it up. Plug in the power supply to the wall and I'll use the side mounted power port this time. <laughs> and look at that. That's awesome. That looks great. Boy, that looks better than I thought it would. That looks fantastic. Two thumbs up. Right on. Alright, so now I want to see how easy or difficult it's going to be to change out one of these signs and whether or not these stickers will be reusable. I don't think they will be because, as I said, they're kind of like bumper stickers. But we'll see. Now, it's recessed in there a bit, so I'm going to get a razor blade and see if I can pry it out of there without damaging it. Alright, so... Yeah. I don't think this sticker is going to be reusable. And I also don't think Menards intended for this to be a really easy thing that you could do every five minutes. It's something, you know, you're going to put a sign in here and leave it up for a while and then maybe change it out every once in a while. Because really, I mean, how often are you going to change the signs on a billboard? All right. Okay, so yeah, this is just a basic sticker. I don't think it's meant to be reused. It's not like a wall sticker where you can take it off and reapply it multiple times. It's just, you know, your basic sticker. So I suppose if you wanted to, you could put it on some wax paper or put it on the backing that it came from. But ultimately, I don't think these things are meant to be reused. Now, while the fact that you can't easily reuse these stickers is something of a downer, I do understand why they did it this way, and in fact, I agree with it. So let me explain. Let's say you didn't want to use stickers, and instead you used reusable cardboard inserts. Yeah, you can swap them out really easily, but cardboard is thick, and so there's no way all of these lights would be able to effectively shine through that cardboard and make it look good. But with these stickers, they're thin, and all that light comes through and it looks fantastic as you've seen. Now on the other hand, let's say you didn't want to use cardboard but you didn't want to use these stickers. Well, in that case you'd probably have to have some custom translucent signs made just for this accessory and that of course would increase the price of the accessory which Menards probably didn't want to do. So using the stickers is sort of a best of both worlds approach. It looks fantastic when it's on the sign and yet these things are very cheap. They're just stickers. You can get these things anywhere. You could probably make your own. So yeah, they're not reusable, but they're cheap and they look fantastic. And so I totally agree with the way they did this. And by the way, Menards in a way compensated for the fact that you can't easily reuse these stickers by giving you 26 of them. That means that if you swapped out both signs twice a year, you would have over six years worth of signs. So that's plenty of signs. It's really not a big deal. All right, so the last thing I want to discuss is this label that I showed you at the start. What was that all about? Well, it turns out that this structure, like most Menard structures, is very versatile and designed to appeal to a wide range of hobbyists. So out of the box, you've got this big, long, heavy metal base that allows you to stand the billboard upright on a table like this with no trouble. However, this big base is kind of distracting and not very realistic, and so for those wanting a more realistic look, you can remove this metal base with these three screws and then secure the billboard to your layout by driving screws through these two holes. And then of course you can power it from the underside with this second power port. So if we turn it upside down and remove these screws,
And there we go. So now you've got a much more realistic look to this thing. And again, to secure it to your layout, you would drive some screws through these two holes. And if this was on my layout, I would bring the power up from the underside and plug it in right there. Very cool. So in summary, I think this thing is absolutely fantastic. It looks amazing. The details are there, the functionality is there, the versatility is there. I mean, this is just a great little O-gauge accessory. Now, how much do you think this thing sells for? And if you don't know, just take a guess, $30, $40? Wrong. This thing goes for $18 on the Menards website. That's right, $18. I'm not kidding. I don't know how they do it, but these deals are absolutely incredible. So if you want to pick one up, you can do so on the Menards website at www.menards.com. Now, if you'd like to support this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. That can be done through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash ericstrains. And I'd like to put a big thank you out there to all of my current Patreon supporters. Your support means the world to me and to the future of this channel. And finally, if you'd like to get an Eric's Trains t-shirt or anything else I might be selling, check out the Eric's Trains online store at www.ericstrains.com store. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time.